Hey, what's going on guys? So we'll be taking a look at a 3D stereo drawing pen. This is apparently from a company called LFJ. I don't think that's a very good brand name, but that is the name of the seller on Amazon. So LFJ is just kind of what I'm gonna call the uh, brand of this product. But as you can see here, it's kind of like just a pen. I mean, you guys have probably heard of these, but it's basically just a pen that allows you to kind of draw things in 3D theoretically. So it kind of melts an ABS filament. Then it just kind of allows you to stack the melted plastic on top of itself and all that, which should theoretically be pretty cool. I'm definitely not able to build things like this but we'll see how it works and um, if you're more artistically talented whether or not you would be able to make things like this so this is just the box that it comes in um, as you can see some of the specifications on the back here if you're interested in reading these then you can totally do so and I guess on the side here it says some of the features it has abundant materials compatible with intelligent memory so uh, this doesn't look like it's very uh, good English so as you can see the design is speedy control so we're not going to read that because it is clearly just a very bad Chinese translation so we'll go ahead and open up the packaging here and I have opened this so it's not exactly what you would get if you just opened it but as you can see we have the actual pen itself here it comes in blue it also comes in like pink yellow and one other color I'm not exactly sure what the other colors are so yeah it's pretty cool we just have the actual pen here but we'll go ahead and get into this in a second um, and here we have the actual charging cable so we'll go ahead and open this up like I said it came like twist tight and everything like that but I repackaged it up again just for the sake of kind of giving a uh, somewhat similar unboxing experience. So this is the power cable for the pen. It is a uh, fairly proprietary connector as you can see here. It's not like a mini USB or anything like that and the pen isn't actually rechargeable so it makes sense that you would need to use this extra charger and that's for like safety issues and things like that so that you're not like I don't know, putting too much power into the pen and things like that. So yeah, there's a charging cable here, nothing too special about that. And then underneath here we have some of the filament colors and a, a little instruction manual here. The instruction manual is a little hard to understand just because of how broken the English is, but it's not too terrible. I worked it out um, and it wasn't all that bad. So. There's that. Um, here you can see we have some of the filament here. This is the gray. This all came kind of packaged up in this little package, but I went ahead and opened this one just because I was already using some of it. So this is just like kind of hard plastic. It's almost like you can hear what it sounds like maybe if I put it up here. So it just gives you an idea of like the weight and the feel and everything like that. So um, as you can see, we do have blue, pink, and gray here. So that is the three colors that are included with this. However, you can buy more colors online because these 3D pens are fairly popular. So you can definitely buy like more ABS filament online. And this pen also accepts multiple kinds of filaments. So if you decide to purchase a different kind of filament, you are totally able to use it with your pen. That is everything that is in the box. You will go ahead and get the pen plugged in and set up. All right, so we have the pen all uh, connected here and all that. It is just plugged in, so I haven't actually put the filament in yet, but as you can see, it says ABS down here. For some reason, you can't see that on camera, but it does say ABS on the little LCD screen here. The ABS is just for the filament type, so if you wish to change the filament type, you could simply push this little arrow button here, and it would cycle through the filament type. So as you can see, we have ABS here, then we have PLA, and then ABS. So it's just two different kinds, ABS or PLA, but it does work with either kind of filament, which is very cool. Here you can adjust the speed at which the filament actually comes out here, just by this little slider here. It does feel very good and smooth and all of that. And um, here we have the kind of down, so this, this like puts the uh, filament into the pen. So it goes down and kind of draws it down, and this pushes it back up, so it's like the reversal. So like I said, this brings it down into the pen, and this reverses it. So we will go ahead and put some filament in. So we do have a little piece of filament here, which we will use for demonstration purposes. So we will go ahead and kind of put this filament in here like this, as you can see. And then once you have it kind of set in here, you can just push this little button down. It's just kind of slowly going into the pen here, as you can see, and it looks like it's good. So as you can see, there's stuff actually coming out of the pen here like this, so you can see that it has a little bit of melted plastic kind of coming out of here. And theoretically, like as you hold down this little down button, um, it's filament starts coming out of the tip here. It does do it automatically, even if you don't hold down the button, but to kind of feed it and everything like that, you do need to hold down the button. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and um, use it. As you can see, there's a little bit coming out here, so we'll go ahead and like push this button, and then theoretically filament should start coming out. Um, as you can see, it's coming out a little bit like this. The surface I'm actually using, it really doesn't stick to it at all. I'm using like the instruction man or something like that, so. Theoretically, you should be able to like, let's rip this off. So it's not all that hot or anything like that because it does kind of solidify as it actually comes out of the pen. But yeah, you get the idea. Maybe we could draw, just draw something in 2D, which kind of defeats the purpose. But we'll go ahead and uh, just kind of like make a little circle here maybe. It is really difficult because, um, the, like I said, the film doesn't actually stick to the paper, so you're essentially just like drawing on the end of the pen, and that is all it's doing, as you can see. It is just doing that over and over and over again. As you can see, I'm making a little loop-de thing here just because of the weight of the film and everything like that, which actually does look fairly cool, I guess. I don't know, that's something. You get the general idea, though. The pen itself does work very well, and for the price, it is nice that it includes quite a bit of actual filament, so you are able to use this right out of the box. You just kind of plug it in, and within like a minute or so, it is heated up, and you're actually able to 
used as you can see here. So what it does essentially, like I said, is just melts the filament and then kind of puts it out the other end of the pen. And then you are able to theoretically like draw things. So as you can see here, we're making something. I'm not really sure what this is per se, but uh, it's definitely something. So that's, that's cool, you know? We are able to uh, draw, draw this. This is just a little like loop-de-doop -doop thing. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, take that off of here and then we'll go ahead and unplug the pen. And we'll actually, first and foremost, to take the stuff out of here, we'll go and press a little reversal button so all of the filament will come out of the pen here so we don't waste any filament because it's not like you have to um, commit to using all of it once you put it in the pen. So we did do that and we have this filament left over which is very nice. But yeah, so um, as you can see, 3D drawing pens in general are a little bit of a gimmick in my opinion. As you can see, we made this little thingy here but maybe if you have some material that the filament actually sticks to then you would be able to draw something cool but I however am not artistically talented whatsoever and this is just a little bit beyond me just because I really can't even draw something on paper so draw something in 3D is a whole different story for me. But yeah, maybe if you were more artistically talented than me, you would actually be able to draw birds and things like that. But as you can see on the box here, I really can't believe anybody actually made this with this particular pen just because it seems ridiculous. Like the amount of time it would take is just insane. And it's so like detailed and things like that. I really can't see that coming out of this pen. However, I can't really imagine it would come out of any 3D drawing pen and I'm guessing it actually did. So maybe I'm wrong and it did come out of this pen, but I'm, like I said, I'm kind of doubting it. Um, I just find that this pen works, but it's not like super precise or anything like that. And the speed at which the material comes out is a little slow for like drawing things because it dries really, really quickly after coming out of the pen. So I feel like the rate at which the material comes out of the pen is a little bit slow but it is nice because we can adjust the speed we can make it slower or faster depending on our needs and yeah so the pen itself is not bad at all it's pretty easy to use pretty intuitive and you are able to actually draw things in 3d theoretically if you are artistically talented so this pen actually isn't that expensive it's I want to say like $57 on Amazon now so when these first came out they were like hundreds of dollars but $57 for kind of like a fun toy to play around with you may or may not actually be satisfied with the results of like what you're drawing but it's kind of fun to just play around with and be like oh wow I'm drawing in 3d that's so cool even though it's essentially just like melting plastic. But anyway, if you guys like to purchase your product, the link will be in the description as it always is. And if you like to see more videos similar to this one, feel free to subscribe. This has been Jordan for Joe Reviews. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next review.